this is this name so just now we talk about five videos okay the same with uh, high blood pressure because the high blood pressure is not a is not a disease it is only a symptom of many different diseases or many different blockages on the meridians during the break somebody proposed another disease name what about Insomnia. How do I do with this insomnia? Which part should I slap? See, again, the answer is, first of all, forget about disease names. Because insomnia could be caused by thousands of reasons. But basically, it's blockages of number one, heart meridian. Number two, spleen meridian, stomach meridian, then plus with other meridians. So again, we do have a name in our mind, okay? We always begin with what we call general parts. We, we come to that very soon. So that naturally leads us to another concept, complex disease. It's a name I invented. I said all diseases, all diseases are complex diseases, more or less. That means all these diseases, in spite of our different names, are related with each other. Like you have a headache, even a simple symptom of a headache could be caused by many reasons. Could be because of high blood pressure, could be because of neck, could be because of injury, or many, many other reasons. So, but they have one thing in common, that is blockages of meridian. Okay, so I use another word, antivirus software. You heard the word MRI, you know that, right? So this is like, MRI when we do pyelology. It initiates or activates the system embedded in your body. Why do I have such a why did I have a, such a wonderful conversation with Archbishop? I told him a new word, I said. The so-called biopyelology, if we ever call it healing, this is a divine healing. Why? It's God who's healing. He said, why? That's a simple. If we truly believe this body both hardware and software is created by God. Then everything is pre-embedded before we are born. So we are born, everyone is born with the system already. That goes without saying, right? So when we do pilotizing, we are merely turning on the key. See, you get into the car, you want to drive the car? You turn on the key, right? Turn. But the real functioning is already there, a car. A car has all the hardware and software, right? But at least you should do that kind of small action. So the pilot and the lodging is just that job. We just initiate activating this system. So it's like a software. Number one, scanning your whole body. Wherever the chi, because when the chi now moves stronger, wherever the chi is blocked, you have the pain. Now, so all the sufferings, that is your problems, or that is your diseases. So at the same time, number two, the scanning is not only doing the diagnosis job, but also the healing simultaneously. Because it's just blocked, then they try to through, the yin and the yang try to get through. That's how it works. Kaga Bami already had that idea. Then pain medicine. So many people are afraid of pain. They try to get rid of pain. Believe me, pain is one of the most beautiful gifts from God. Why? First of all, pain in your lifetime serves as a protection line for you. It always protects you. On the fire, if no pain, you could have been burned, you don't even know. You fall from high place, no pain, you could be smashed, you don't even know what's wrong. So pain is protection. Now pain here is also a diagnosis. If you got a pain here, there, that means that is blockage. If you got more pain than others, that means you got a more serious problem. Some people say, okay, I'm allergic to pain. <laughs> Who is not? <laughs> yeah, everyone, see, it's because of the blockage of meridians. So, pain is a signal leading you to find out, to discover your problems. That is good. Number three, pain is also the most beautiful healing. In Chinese medicine, we can describe this way. You got yin and yang. Yang is 
good warm open yin is cold contracting so when do sweating you get warmer or colder warmer. yeah you get warmer when do stretching you get more you find one thing very obvious the more pain you have the warmer you have you will become you did that in chicago did you realize that the more slap stretch you do the warmer you get that means your yang energy increases if yang energy increases then consequently the yin will decrease that is the balance, you see? So the temperature will change. When your body temperature changes, the whole thing, the hormones all change. Right? Okay, if you use a Western medical terms, you will realize during the pain, all the hormones will change. Endocrine system will generate all different hormones. And it's, let's say you have a knee problem, you slept there, what happened? Stem cell will happen. More stem cells will be generated. The biggest characteristic of stem cell is self-duplicating. Self the old, rotten, bad cells will be gone, while the new stem cells will be born. So in Chinese traditional expression, there is a very famous word that is called bu po bu li. No destruction, no construction. If you want to build a high building here, you have to demolish this small building first, a bad one first. So this is the same. But this is within this life's mechanism. That's how it is designed. This is also part of the creation by God. <coughs> right? So we are not using any equipment to do anything. It is always the self-healing system that does its own job. We just initiate, activate, that's all. The last one, no, healing crisis. This is the most important one. Why? It's so hard for people to understand, but this is so frequent to happen. Some people say, okay, I don't have a cough, but after doing this, I begin to cough. I say, congratulations. Why? This is called healing crisis. Or in another word, this is called good turning point. That means you're beginning to turn better and better. If you imagine the river flows peacefully, normally, okay? But now if there is a heavy rain, it's flooding. So the water flow is much bigger than normal. If there is a dam, blocked area, so the dam will face much bigger pressure naturally right and that is a power that power can be even used to generate electricity so the same in our body the meridians we have chi inside to move but once we do the paida and the lajin the chi will move stronger than normal time so all those blocked areas all those diseased areas will face much bigger pressure that is why you will face pain none sore, headache, coughing. Some people even get fainted. Yeah. So by the way, before I forget, I just in case, you see, today at least I should teach you something that you can use in your lifetime. In emergency, you boom, heart attack. What shall we do? You always do the paida. Paida where? Here. Here and here. Why? During the emergency cases, forget about names because they are dying. When somebody is dying, it is always the heart problem. No matter this one is it's a cancer disease or a diabetes or whatever names, but when somebody is fading away, that is serious big deal of the heart. Just slap here. During our Vancouver and the Seattle workshop, we got some doctors both Chinese and the Western medical doctors, because they personally saw how those fainting people, because some people get heart attack in the workshop, boom. I said, 911, die. I said, no, you don't have to, why? This is the best time to do the case study, to see how we can save the people who is dying. So, I said, okay, come on, let's just boom, boom, boom. 10, 15 minutes, people came back. Then another one, next day, and boom. Then slap again. So those doctors really saw it. They say, 
If this is so good, why should we learn and use so-called CPR? CPR is kind of used in emergency cases. I said, that is your job. You guys are the doc doctors. You can write a whole book or dissertation about this. Now, if you check out, check out in my website, thousands of cases like this. People just learn this. They save the people in airport, in the airplane, in the train. One doctor, a doctor, where's the medical doctor? She wrote me a testimony. She said, I worked in the emergency room for nine years. Each time, <coughs> I would use CPR. Ah, just right here. None of them I really saved. They all died anyway. <laughs> but this time, in Shanghai, there's a big sports meet for the college students. One 21-year college girl, boom, fell. Heart attack. She said, this time, I was not on duty in the hospital. So I could use Pai Da Na. So just slap, boom, boom. Of course, they also asked for the, for the first aid. When the ambulance came, the girl already saved. So this, I have so many cases. It's just endless. I, I can talk about the whole day. Thousands of cases like this. Now, healing crisis, remember, this is always something good. When somebody told me they get even worse, like during the workshop, your blood pressure might get higher, sugar level might be higher. Don't worry, that is good. I would say congratulations. That means the healing crisis is happening. Or somebody has a pain here, here and there. They say, oh, how come I have a pain here? I say, okay, you recall what happened before, oh, 20 or 30 years ago. Some had a car accident, some had an injury in the sports or whatsoever. So I use another word. Pai Da La Jin is almost like a rehearsal of the last or the final judgment. Why? Because you forgot so many things when you do Pai Da La Jin, they all flow up. Yeah. Bad or good, they all flow up. It's so funny. Some people cry. Ah, it's not because of the pain, because oh, from the childhood, blah, 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 oh, when I was in love, I was hurt, blah, 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 blah. they cried, cried, then they are released, relieved. So that depression problems gone. So in the name of healing these physical diseases, we're in fact healing all the mental problems. All these diseases, as I mentioned just now, you know, the character disease, is all caused by our heart. But our heart under stress, that's why we have all sorts of different names. They are in different names, but they all represent the heart, the key. Okay? This is a typical case of hypertension, gout, you know, he could hardly walk, you know, in a wheelchair, and also very high blood pressure, and the stomach problem, spleen problem, you name it. After the workshop, all gone. Plus, we lost, lost like 20, 25 pounds, see? Look at his tummy, yeah. This is in Germany. A doctor attended my workshop, then she invited me to, he, to her clinic. Because the lady got a surgery, see, surgery on here, on both sides actually, on the thigh. But still in pain, especially with weather changes. She said, what to do with this lady? What shall we do? Simple. Slap. <laughs> Where? Just on that sky area. Just in 10 minutes, the pain is gone. Just so easy, yeah. This is very interesting. This is a bypass surgery. This is from Malaysia. This gentleman was already in the you know, room for ready to prepare for the surgery. As an Indian doctor, one of the best in KL, Kuala Lumpur. And then before the surgery examination, to that Indian doctor's surprise, said, how come all these vessels are clean? What happened to you in the last month? And the gentleman said, my sister came to my room, and he spent, she spent a whole month doing Pai Da La Jin. And he showed him all the bruises, you see. <laughs> then the Indian doctor said, OK, well, that being the case, surgery is canceled. <laughs> so it's not only a money issue, but it's a lot of hustle and you know, the pain and suffering. Mm. There's a diabetes report from Auckland, New Zealand. I don't even know who this person is. They just sent me the report, you know, but oh, I learned, read a book now. Boom, the diabetes is gone. That's the report from the doctor, yeah. This one is Stephen. 
more interesting, this is about a diabetes report from Macau. This guy, he would spend insulin, I don't know, many times per day on the belly. You know, this attracts a lot. He said, it's very hot, a lot of mosquitoes and the flies came here. <laughs> he really suffered. He almost decided to come suicide. Suffered a lot. Wow. Plus, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, a lot of problems. After the workshop in Shenzhen, because he's from Macau. So, this report shows not only di diabetes has gone, 